There's so many things in life that no one tells you about, like how to file your taxes, what is a credit report, where did Cotton Eye Joe go? At my ripe age of 23, I only know two of these answers and it made me realize that I don't have my life together. And so for the past six months or so, I've been trying to figure out what I want out of life and the best way to go about achieving those things. And I feel like it was best if I just sat down and talked to a camera about it because if I say it publicly, I'm more likely to hold myself accountable. And if the internet will do one thing, it is hold you to your word. The first change was something I feel that everybody makes when they want to turn their life around. I started going back to the gym. Me personally, I love the gym. I love working out, so it's not difficult for me to decide to go to the gym, but it is really difficult to start that habit if it's something that you're not used to. I also like to hyper fixate on things, so I've been taking it pretty seriously. I bought the clothes, I bought the pre-workout, I bought the creatine, and I've been consistently going for five days a week. Now, six actually, because I switched my workout split. In fact, some of my friends and I are starting the 75 hard in a couple days. I've done it before, but it'll be a nice challenge to have again. It was very very mentally and physically taxing, but more than worth it. If you're able to do it, I 100% recommend it. Anyway, yeah, I've been working out more, eating out less, and who would have thought? I feel better. It's almost like taking care of yourself is important. The second thing that I decided to work on was having a social life because for so long, I just kind of locked myself in the studio and isolated myself from the world and that I guess wasn't a great thing to do for an extended period of time. It was very difficult on me mentally. It took me to a very dark place. I was just so focused on taking myself to the next level in my career and with content. And I mean, it worked. Like my analytics were through the roof. I was getting thousands of streams a day on Spotify. I was getting millions of views a month on TikTok but you can only do that for so long. I got very burnt out and I'll talk about that specifically a little bit more later. Anyway, I'm no longer trying to isolate. I've been hanging out with some of my content creator friends and I'm traveling now. And even though it's for work, like I'm still traveling and meeting new people, creating these connections, making new friends. And it's a lot better than locking myself in a studio all day, every single day. So if anybody's in the position that I was in where you're kind of just shutting yourself off from the entire world, it's probably time that you check back in with some like real life people. Now there are benefits to being locked in and focused on something, but really only for short periods of time. I promise you that scheduling time with your friends and family is not gonna set you back in your career. The last thing is probably the most important thing for me, and that was, what do I wanna do with my life? It's a very daunting question, and certainly one that we should not be asking 18 year olds before making them pay thousands of dollars to go to college. I've always been blessed in the fact that ever since I was six, I've kind of known what I wanted to do. It's just the format in which I did that thing has always been changing. I wanna entertain people, that's it. The problem is that I love everything. I love acting, I love making music, I love being a content creator, but everyone tells you to kind of pick one thing and niche down. So for the first five months of this year, I did. I went heavy into making music and then making content based around that music. But I could only do that for so long. I posted every day for 176 days and I couldn't take it anymore. I burnt out and I left short form content. Even right now, I'm still planning on how I wanna go back to short form content because I can't go back to posting daily, that would kill me. And more importantly, I only wanna post content that I'm proud of and doing it daily, it was kind of hard to do that. And as for answering that looming question over my head of what do I wanna do with my life? I don't think I have to answer that yet. I mean, yeah, the answer is always gonna be to entertain, but it really just depends on where I wanna put my energy at the moment. So I've decided that right now, long form content is my focus. Showing up here on YouTube every week is what's most important right now because it's what needs the most work for me. And it's something that I wanna be really good at, so it's gonna take a lot of my time and energy. This channel will be about me and anything that I'm passionate about. Maybe me and my creator friends go to Disney and I wanna vlog it. Maybe I go vegan for 30 days and I wanna document the process. Maybe I wanna figure out where Cotton Eye Joe went. Anyway, until next time, it's all love. Peace. Hey. My team huddle up, your team shut it up, petty like time won't back down, run it up on my son of a high speed buckle up.